Hello boys and girls. So in this video I want to talk about how you download apps onto your iPad. So the most important thing that you have to remember is that the only way you can download apps onto your iPad is through self-service. You cannot use the App Store to be able to download apps through there. The only way you can download them is again through the self-service. So self-service is the button that appears on the top row right in the middle of my screen. All you have to do is click on that icon and you enter self-service. Here on self-service there are hundreds of apps that are available for you, to, for you to use, but we're going to provide for you a list of the most important apps that your teachers are going to be asking you to be using in class. Alright, so now that we're here in self-service, I'm going to go ahead and find just a couple of apps that I need to use. So one important app that I might need to use in class is Microsoft Word. So I can either, sometimes if they're very common, they'll appear for you right on the screen. All right, but sometimes they won't and you're going to have to search for them. So if I didn't see Microsoft Word here, I would go into my search bar, I would type in Word, and then here I have Microsoft Word, it's the fourth one down, and I click on that. Now that I have it there, I just click on the install button, which would appear for you right here where it says reinstall. Okay, I click on that button, and when I go in, I'll be able to see that I have Microsoft Word downloaded onto my iPad. It's right here in my bottom row, first column. All right, so now take some time to look at that list of important apps that you need to have on your iPad, and go into self-service and download them so that they're ready for to use for your classes. Once you have your apps all downloaded, then we're going to come back and see how we can organize our home screen. So in the second half of this video, I want to talk to you about how you can create folders to organize your iPad home screen. So right now you can see I have a couple of apps out here, but I also have a couple of folders. I have an Office 365 folder right here. I have Office 365, Word, and OneDrive inside. And I have a Utilities folder that I've used to just kind of store those apps I don't really need, but that, there are, that they are iPad-specific. So I have put them away in here. All right, just to keep my screen just a little bit less cluttered. So something that I like to do, I do like to keep all my Office apps all together in one place. All right, so I'm going to, if I hold on to my OneNote app, now they started to shake, and now I know that I can start moving things around. All right, so all I have to do is click on my OneNote app icon, hover over Office 365, and then it pops right in. I'm going to do the same thing for PowerPoint, because again, I want all my Office apps to be nice and together. Okay, for presentations, I'm going to now also create a brand new folder, and I'm going to do that by hovering my GarageBand app over the iMovie app. All right, so again, just hover them over, and you'll see that now it's created a folder and both of these are there together. And I'm gonna leave it as um, presentations. All right, you could title your app, your folder, whatever makes the most sense. So this way when you're looking through, you can just very quickly put all these things together. I'm gonna put the Keynote app into that as well and also put pages in there as well. All right, home. I don't wanna delete that off of my iPad, although I could because it does have an X at the corner. So I'm just gonna also slip that into the utilities folder. I don't use this mail icon, I use my Outlook mail. So I'm going to take this one and also put it away. So this way, again, now my screen looks a little bit less cluttered and it's a lot easier to be able to find you know, where I've stored my files and my OneDrive. All right, so I would recommend that you create folders for the different apps that you use. If you have multiple apps for a class, I would probably recommend, say, creating a math folder and all of your math apps go into that specific folder. But if you have apps that are shared throughout your classes, then maybe you want to create a presentation folder where all the apps you use to create different projects and presentations are placed into that folder. 
if you use a different Office apps very frequently, put all the Office apps together. All right, so I would say first try to figure out where your apps best fit and, and then create the folder so that way you keep your iPad home screen nice and neat and you can easily and quickly locate any apps you need to use for